Hey everyone, it's Mary Catherine from Crochet Chic here. I wanted to make this video to show all my friends over at Fiber Mind how to make a quick, simple, and easy flower. What you need for this project is your crochet hook and your yarn. As long as the hook matches your yarn, you're good to go. Doesn't matter the type of yarn. We're going to start by making a magic circle. Now if you've never made one before, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We start with the tail end of the yarn. We put it like this. We're going to make an X with this end of the yarn is connected to the ball. If you do it opposite, it's not going to work. We're going to go under the first part of the X, turn our hook so we grab the second part of the X just like that. I twist it. It makes it easier to get it off my hand. Then grabbing the yarn that's connected to your ball, not the tail, we want to go ahead and pull through, do a chain. That's what secures it. So the cool thing about a magic circle is you can pull this right here and it's going to make it a lot smaller or you can go like this to loosen it up. It's a lot better than chaining and joining because it just makes your project look a little bit more professional. It also makes it um, easier and you have less work at the end. So we're going to make just a basic simple small flower. We're going to start with a single crochet. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet. Then we're going to go back down in size and do our half double crochet. And then we're going to do our single crochet. Then we're going to do what's called a slip stitch where we just, um, no yarning over, just like this single crochet, grab the yarn, and instead of yarning over, we're just gonna pull it through that first hoop, just like that. We're gonna chain one. We're gonna repeat this pattern over again for the next petal. We start with a single crochet, then we do a half double crochet. Then we do a double crochet, Then we do a half double crochet. A single crochet. And a slip stitch. As you can see I have two petals so far. I'm going to go ahead and pull on this just a little bit to make it a little tighter. This is going to be a three petal flower but if you'd like to do more just go ahead and keep on going. So for our last one, after our slip, we want to do a chain. We're going to do our single crochet, our half double crochet, my yarn's getting tight, bear with me while I pull it, so we just did our single, we did our half double, now we do our double. half double, single, we're now going to do our slip stitch, we're going to pull this tight, Just you can pull it tighter so it curls or you can pull it to about that tightness and then what we're going to do is we're going to do another slip stitch in the top of this first stitch right here. And then what I do is I just break the yarn. Not all yarns will break that easily. You might have to actually use scissors. I'm a really big, I'm always guilty of not getting the scissors. And then what we do is we pull this as tight as we want it. And make sure you tie a knot. If you do not tie a knot, it's going to completely come undone. You can leave the tail short like I did or you can leave it really long so that you can attach it to something. So I've got my knot. This is this. We can weave it in or cut it after we knot it. And this is your simple, chic, 
cute little three petal flower go ahead and make it within as many flowers or as many petals as you want put a bunch together post all your photos over at fiber minds let us know that you made it from the video thank you